220 microfarads at 25 volts. Hmm. Not sure. Like I say, the other one's probably going to go at some point in time, but I'm not going to replace it now. I'll, I'll wait until the <clears throat> it starts doing the same thing. Like I say, it looks like that one had the most load in it, so. It's been replaced with a, a capacitor. I've got no idea if it's a good brand or not, but I don't really care so long as it works. Uh, hopefully now the monitor should power up as normal. We'll find out. Yeah. Set the board back down again. There seem to be a lot of capacitor repairs as of late. It's uh, quite a funny thing, really. So, my monitor's been doing this since Christmas. This uh, flashing of the light until the capacitor warms up and then it decides to run. Uh, it just gets a pain in the backside because you want to use your computer straight away uh, and not wait for it to really warm up. Computer starts up really quickly, it's just the, uh, the back light takes forever to, uh, to power up. Well, not the back light, but the monitor used to take forever to come off standby. I mean, if it, if this is the fault, which it looks like it is, because I thought it was going to be a capacitor fault. And that's happy days if it's all fixed and up and running. screwdriver sadly <clears throat> good enough for doing this work with the plug these back in I know I'm supposed to be wearing earth straps and everything and all that and the other but to be fair I sod it like I say the monitor's not worth much if I break the monitor I break the monitor I think it can survive a few jolts of uh, any, any static electricity. All right, let's, uh, let's stick some power up its backside and see if it works. Nope, still doing the usual flashing thing. So I guess the other capacitor's gone as well. Yeah, that's a shame. You don't know if it's a problem with the coils. You don't know if it's a problem with something else somewhere, some other capacitor or something. Oh right. Well, there's your problem. Whoopsie doodles. Can't get the damp. Okay, to sit in properly. There we go. Take two. Still it does it. Although it's not doing it as bad. No, it's trying to power up well. There you go, it is powering up still. Oh. No signal. See the big scorch mark it's got on the screen. Now it's gone to power saving mode. Hmm. It's probably just this board is completely dead now. These. I'll replace that with the capacitor, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see if that works. All right. Let's see the one soldered in. I have the wires connected this time. 
I'm lazy like that. Like I say, this monitor is about dead anyway, so I'd have to polish the panel up a lot to try and get it to work. These screw holes lined up. I'm going to put one screw in it just to hold it in place. Good enough. Alright, let's see what it does now. I guess it's still got the fold then. Hmm. Let's see if all the screws are all tightened up on the board. All the screws are tightened up. I'm just tapping the board with the hand of the screwdriver. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if it's a uh, a loose component somewhere. Well, that thing makes a right noise. Imagine the RF. That thing's chucking out. Whatever, that's the two capacitors replaced anyway. So uh, even if it's just reduced the time it takes for it to start up, <laughs> well, I don't. That's all I really care about. <clears throat> yeah. Oh well. <sighs> I guess you can't fix everything. What I will do is I'll take these chips out and reset them in again. This uh, that one there. When I tapped that, the thing decided to power up, so it may just be a, a loose sitting chip. We'll see. Anyway, guys and girls, I'm going to uh, call this video quits. I uh, didn't really fix the fault, I just merely reduced its uh, starting up time. <laughs> Which uh, is a fix in my eyes. As long as the monitor powers up a lot more, a lot more quickly, that's all that matters to me. Let's just try it again. Unplug. Plug in. Yeah. That was if you power it on. Yeah. Well, it seems to be doing what it should be doing anyway. Oops, there's all the screws going flying off. The thing powers up. <coughs> Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, let's get this thing back together again. And we'll uh, see if it holds up a picture properly. Looks a right racket. <laughs> well, it looks like replacing the capacitors didn't fix it. It's uh, it's got to be something else wrong with the thing. Maybe it's the power supply, I've not even checked the power supply yet. It may not be delivering the uh, proper voltage to the screen. I suppose that's what you should really do first, is uh, check the input first. Um, don't think I've got an accurate voltage tester though. I know the thing has been dropped many times. I don't think that this has got any battery life in it, has it? Oh, it has. I don't even know if this tester actually works properly anymore. Should be giving me around about 12 volts worth of power. Uh, camera. Put the camera back down. Yeah, that's giving me 12, 12 volts, but that's uh, not under load though. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know at all. We'll have to see. It looks like it's uh, new monitor time. It's 
That's all it's doing is just flicking off. Yeah. The camera decides to stick the light on. Yeah, there you go, it's fired up. Oh well. As long as the thing keeps uh, powering up, I don't really care. So I really do need to get another monitor on order. Uh, I need to save up for one. I know they're pretty cheap nowadays, but uh, I'll only buy another cheap monitor. So the Dell one I got there, I paid 20 quid for that. Um, I got it from a, uh, a rally. Uh, actually, it was an auction. I uh, had a really big scuff. If I just uh, open up a new notepad, you might be able to see it. There you go. You can see it at different angles. We're right here. There was a really big scuff, and I mean it was proper big. Very, very deep scratch. You can see it better when you turn the light out. Yeah, look at that there, look. When the monitor's on, you don't notice it. This is the one I do all my gaming on, this panel. But, uh, yeah, that was a proper deep scratch, that was. Really, really deep. The camera's focusing like mad. And I ended up getting a car cutting paste on it, cutting compound. And I was rubbing it down with cutting compound, trying to get the scratch out. And I got it out in the end, as you can see, well, give or take. When you turn the monitor back on, you don't notice it's there. It's done a really good job of it. Uh, you do a little bit, there's a scratch underneath it, but I think that's come after. You don't, you don't notice that one, you don't really look there when you're gaming, your gaming screen is more here, not down at the bottom. I mean, for checking your health and whatnot on certain games, that's uh, the only place you use those, but yeah, whatever. It works, computer's working well. I've got my little voltage checker in there, which is reading dead and 12 volts. If I turn my lights off, it'll go up a, vo a volt. Ah, it won't go up a volt then. Normally it does when I turn my lights off. It must be cold. <laughs> but, uh, normally when I turn my lights off, because the lights are running off the uh, computer. <laughs> when I shut my computer down, I lose all my bedroom lighting. Apart from me. Bulb up the top there. Alright guys and girls. We've got a, a, trip, a trip to the scrapyard is in order today, I think. My brother wants some bits for his car. So, uh, oh, that'll be it then, guys and girls. Whew. A bit tired, actually. Mm. Oh, well. Uh, check my emails, and then I'll uh, be off out. Thanks for watching, guys and girls. Catch you on the next video. Peace out.